Welcome to a brand new speed build. Today I have a community lot for you, more specifically a library, and I know I don't know who I am. I don't do community lots. <laughs> this is the first community lot that is going up on the channel. I have done one other that is going to go up, I don't know, when the next month maybe. Um, as it looks like right now, I think it's going up like beginning of March, end of February, but I don't know, that might change. Um, but I don't know, I, I go on these like benches of like doing um, community a lot, so I like do none because I they literally terrifies me, but um, then I go on these benches and I do like several of them, so I did kind of go on that type of bench. Um, I was looking through like just regular houses on Pinterest and I saw this really pretty house, um, which I will of course put up on the screen, and I, I really liked it and I thought it would really look good as library, so I decided to make that. Also, this is for my save file. I only have three lots left in Willow Creek now, which is insane, um, but they are all community lots. So I'm a little scared to be honest, but um, I really I really like how this turned out and when I saw it on Pinterest I was just like yeah Willow Creek library done because I didn't like I've been procrastinating doing the community lots for Willow Creek specifically because I'm not sure which style I want to go for which style which which style there we go uh, which style I want to go for so I just haven't like procrastinating it but uh, when I saw that I was just like yeah that's that's it that's it. Um, and I didn't want to copy it exactly, but I kind of ended up doing that because I tried, like, I had so, so much trouble figuring out which color scheme I wanted to go for the outside, um, just because it, I don't know what it was, it just didn't make sense to me in some way to have, like, anything else but the dark blue. So I did go with the dark blue in the end, it's also, of course, what's, um, in the inspiration picture, but... I, I, don't, I think it looks really good, but I didn't want to copy it exactly, but I end up kind of doing that. So I am sorry for that. Um, I try not to do that, so I don't know. Uh, but I really like how this library turned out in general. This is like my third library I think I built. The first one I built was like two or three years ago. I didn't have this computer then, so that, and that build is like lost forever in the void of Sims because I did save it to my library, I just didn't upload it to gallery. And when I got this computer, like a year and a half now, um, I, like, it was just gone. All the lots I've saved to my library, like, even the ones that was, like, uploaded to the gallery were gone. Um, the ones that were uploaded to the gallery obviously was still on the gallery, it was just not in my library. I don't know what happened, but they were just gone, which was a little sad <laughs> at first. Because I hadn't uploaded, like, any of my community lots, but in the end, I think it was for the best, because I think, like, I have evolved as a builder since then, so it's pretty good actually but at the time I was really sad about it but I was really happy I got like a new computer so I don't know it was like it was good and bad at the same time basically I also want to quickly mention just that this is my last pre-recorded video if you're new here you don't care about this at all um but for the last like week and a half it's all been pre-recorded because I had some things going on um so I haven't been able to like play or anything like that like play the game edit anything like that I have been active on Twitter at least I think so I don't know, I'm recording this on the 7th, and I think this is going up on the 17th, so I'm a little ahead. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you know, like, the videos that are going to go up after this are not pre-recorded. At least, I don't think so, because I don't have any more, like, edited footage. I do have- I did build, like, a celebrity modern mansion, which, like, I know, who is she? I don't know. Um, but <laughs> I did build that one. Which I've started to kind of edit, but I'm so intimidated by it because it's an hour, like it's over an hour of footage, like sped up footage. So I was, nah, I'm just dreading it. So I'm just like going to put that off for a little bit. Uh, but here you can kind of see me struggle with the outside because I wasn't sure like which color scheme I wanted to go for. In the end, I do go with the dark blue. And I think I used the wallpaper from Spot A. I've been using that a lot more recently. I used it in my colorful family home too. And I think I built this kind of, yeah, it was kind of like in the same time. So it's been like a month since I, since I built this. Um, I don't know, it's very weird. Also, I'm sorry if you can hear my dog outside my door. She just woke up. Um, it's like 10.30 a.m. I don't know, I don't record this early either, like usually, but it's Sunday and I have to like do some other things today. So I was just like, well, I'm going to do this first thing in the morning. <laughs> So for once it's not late, uh, but that does not mean my brain is with me because it probably isn't um, But I don't think I edited out that much of this build. Um, I'm mm, I don't I think I show you the bathrooms I 
think so at least uh, we'll see uh, but I do only show you the landscaping of the front of the build um, I really like kind of the back area of this library because usually I feel like a library don't really have like a garden or something like that but in the sims I like that idea so I kind of went with it and I really like it there's like a few chess tables out there and um I don't know, just some places to sit. I did put like, I don't know, like dining tables, I guess is what they called, but um, I don't know if your sims would like eat, they, obviously you wouldn't eat here, but I was thinking that maybe like they could sit out there and read or something like that. Um, but the outside is mostly, obviously the wallpaper is from Spa Day or the siding is from Spa Day, but I think all the windows and the doors and everything like that is from um, University. And I, I love those windows. They're so pretty. The thing is, I, they are like, I went for the medium, medium, medium? Why did I say medium so weird? Uh, I went for the medium wall height, which I don't do like that often. And so these windows like work perfectly for that, but I don't use them that much because I don't do the medium wall height that much. Um, but I did also use the windows from, ooh, um, what's it called? Strangerville. <laughs> I just forgot the name, uh, Strangerville. So this, uh, this library, I was gonna say house, this library is not pack restricted. Which might be a problem for some people because obviously you might want to download this and some things will just be missing and I'm so sorry about that but it's just, um, I've purchased all the packs and I'm not going to like restrict myself. I do that sometimes, like obviously I do have like a whole playlist of base game videos and, or base game homes and like some pack restricted ones. Um, so yeah, like I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but I do, like I do like to limit myself at times but also like this is going to my save file, like this is the file that I'm going to play with the most so I just want- and the file is like not pack restricted which also might be a problem. Also I'm not sure if I'm going to upload that, like the save file because I'm not sure if like people would want that. Let me know if that's something you would like to see but um, I don't know, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to upload it or not but yeah, um, as you can see, I did this kind of open staircase, which we have to do with a new trick. I will link the video on how to do that in the description down below, because how I used to do it, like, the stairs are broken now, so if you download some some of my old homes from um, the gallery and I have, like, an open staircase, they might be broken. They probably are, because how I used to do it with, like, kind of putting a fence around and, like, deleting the floor doesn't work anymore. You have to, like, do a whole ass room. Um, and so you, that might be broken, but like, I don't know. I will link the video down below on how to do that. Um, it really helped me. <laughs> like, honestly, I was so confused. I didn't even know they were broken until I think like Simlessy mentioned it in one of her videos. And so I was just like, what? They are broken? <laughs> and I knew I really wanted to have kind of like a grand uh, staircase. So I wanted to have that open one. So I really, I really liked that I was able to figure out how to do that. Um, I have done it in... Actually, the apartment that I finished today, which is going up, I don't know when, um, but I did kind of the same thing there, so I really liked it. But now we're moving on to the back area. I, I want to say backyard, but it's not like a backyard, it's like a back area. I'm just going to call it a back area. And as you can see, I do place these kind of dining table-ish. Um, obviously, like I said before, your sims won't eat here, but um, they might play, I don't know, hanging out or something like that. I do put these three chess tables, and I really like this backyard, I think. Or backyard mm, backside again <laughs> uh, I really like it I like the screenshots that I took from it too um, by the way in the screenshots you will see like there are some sims in them because obviously like I was playtesting it after well like while I was taking the screenshots um, and I like couldn't move the sims that was like there because it's a library it's a community lot so you know um, but I, I think it looks good like it the screenshots are fine either way um, and I really like this back area, like I said before, I do put some like just benches and I think maybe like an art easel or something like that. So if your sims need to, I don't know, build a skill or something like that, they can come here. Um, I did think like more of like, if you sim what do your sims need? Like if you're like, if you're playing like a rags to riches or legacy challenge, like what do your sims need? So I was like, well, an easel might be good to have. And I do put like a lot of computers, um, so yeah, and so I did build this like a month ago, so it was before the paranormal stuff pack came out, so there's no paranormal stuff in this, uh, but I think they would really go well with this build, so if I had it, I might have put some stuff um, in here for that. Like, when I built this, the pack wasn't even announced, like, the trailer hadn't come out, like, nothing had come out about it, so um, I kind of knew that something was going to come out because we usually get a pack around that time, but... Um, I like didn't wait because I was just like in a building mood. Um, but now we're moving on to the interior and I kind of went, I don't know, like a more traditional um, interior. 
I don't think that like libraries in The Sims are like the same as libraries in real life, at least not the ones I've been to because in real life they're very boring. Like not a lot of detail, like bookshelves everywhere. Like obviously it's a library so there should be bookshelves everywhere, but like it's just weird. Um, also like, I don't know. I do like, if you don't know, I am an avid reader. I read kind of a lot. Um, obviously you can tell that by my like, profile picture, but um, yeah, I don't know. I do love libraries. It's just, they're not the most exciting thing in real life. So I did try to make it a little more interesting to have like, I don't know, plants and some more decorative stuff. Um, and so the downstairs is first of this entry area, which has a lot of like bookcases and some sitting areas and stuff like that. And then there's this hallway, which also has like more sitting area. Um, and that also leads to the back area as well as the bathrooms and also the kind of the kids area because one thing I think is very important to add in all of my libraries that I do, granted I've only done like one other that is going to go in the safe hall and that's the one to, that's going to go in Windenburg. It is up on my gallery if you want to download that one, but, um, I, don't know, I think it's important to have kind of a kids area because the kids kind of get left out when it comes to community areas, at least I think so. So I try to like kind of incorporate that um and i really like how it turned out i did put a i don't know what it's called but like a board from oh um get together i think uh, which i think is supposed to be like where you count like scores like in a bar or something like that um but i it looks kind of like a uh, blackboard so i did put it in there so i was thinking maybe like they have like a tutoring thing here or something like that which i might like do with, like a tutoring club or something like that in my save file but i don't know um and then i just do these bathrooms i didn't didn't think i was going to show you them but apparently i did and also like there wasn't um, any place to place the mirrors so i do place them on like the wall beside the, <laughs> the sink which might be really weird but at the same time i think that's okay in one of my bathrooms that we have in our house um we have it like that which is very weird but like that, what are you gonna do like there's a window i'm not gonna take that away so yeah um but here's the kind of kids area that i mentioned before i did put like some i don't know more kid friendly things um like obviously there's a few bookcases and stuff like that but i do think i put like some activities and stuff like that um and when i went to go and take the screenshots the dollhouse was destroyed because you know like your kids can like destroy the dollhouse it was just destroyed so i had to like go out of ham mode go into build mode add a new <laughs> dollhouse and um it was just like i was just like what happened here <laughs> um but because i did it did take a long time to like figure out the lighting on the front so like it took like days <laughs> in the sims time so it was just weird and i do use those rugs from i think toddler stuff and i really like them i think they look really good in there i think they look very i don't know kid friendly obviously i think that's what they're supposed to be um and i think they look really good so I don't know, I really like it. And then there's this the little like porch area, I guess, balcony thing. And at first on the first floor, I guess like second floor, but I think I haven't heard like mention people people mention what am i even saying anymore i heard people mention that it's the first floor i don't know the upstairs anyway the upstairs um i was originally want wanting to have it like as one big area that did not end up happening because i thought it would just look kind of weird so i do kind of section off this little area where i put some desks and there are no computers in here there are the research uh things from university so if you have like students stuff like that they can come here and study and i also like some empty desks if they want to study too um, so this is more like a study, I guess, corner, which also like is pretty reasonable. I mean, I study in my school library pretty often because if I, if I have the time, because it's just good, it's a good place to study, obviously because it's quiet. <laughs> and so there's just some bookshelves in here and stuff like that. But then like, this is the only like, uh, sectioned off, sectioned off. What am I even saying anymore? I don't know. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, but it is the like, only room that is like a room upstairs. Otherwise, this, the, there's this one like big open area. And there there are a lot of computers and um, a few chess tables as well. So if it's raining outside, your sims can play chess inside. Um, and did I say inside twice? I might have. I'm sorry. But I like if there's raining outside, you you can play inside. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, but I just put some like desks with computers here. And I think I put like one more desk um that has like no computers um just like to be able to study basically um and i don't know i really like this build i think it's going to work well as community a lot it did play test it and everything seemed to work totally fine um but obviously like sometimes things might be wrong also if you download this from the gallery make sure you have move objects and also show hidden objects on um because that it's going to help you. 
otherwise things might disappear so um, always have that on when you download any of my builds um, ever so in this like these two little alcove areas I guess I do kind of the same thing for the downstairs and the upstairs like it's the same couch basically the same like lamps it's the same thing but I think it looks really good so that's why I did it and also I think in a library they would have kind of the same thing like over and over again obviously at a home you don't purchase like a block of like the same thing but like in a library you do um let's be honest so I don't know I think it looks pretty good um and I just put like some more bookshelves up here and stuff like that I, I maybe there's like not enough bookshelves for this to be a like library like obviously there was because like they could like the restrictions are met but i feel like in real life there would be so much more bookshelves and again this was like not look like this it would be so much boring in real life at least the ones that i like libraries i've been to which granted is like my school library and like the ones that are like where i live but um i don't know Maybe that's just me. Uh, but I do put this also like kind of lounge thing from Vampires, which I think it looks really well. I did go for like a more traditional style, like I said before, and I think it looks really good at the end. Uh, but that's basically it for this video, and I really hope you liked it. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and of course subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!